against the law doesn't mean against Christ. That's a real important thing for everyone to know. We heard so many rumors that people thought when they heard the song against the law that we were saying, Jesus, we want no more of you. We want no part of you. We are against you. That is not true. Striper has never, ever been anti-Christ. We've made mistakes. We've uh, looked back at our life and said, you know, maybe we shouldn't have did that right there, or maybe we should have done this, but it's never been a thing to be anti-Christ. The record was done to try to reach a part of the crowd that we felt we weren't reaching. There's a lot of, say, kids in a Metallica or Guns N' Roses or whatever that we felt that were maybe a little bit nervous about listening to Striper because it was so Jesus up front. So what we wanted to do was do a record and work with a producer that we'd never worked with, Tom Wehrman, great producer, and put out this record that kind of had maybe a less of a vibe of In God We Trust. See, In God We Trust was very out there. In God We Trust. I mean, that's, that's pretty bold, okay? Which is great. We did it. We loved it. It worked. But we, we felt we still weren't touching into that audience that we felt really, really needed it. So when we put this record together, that's what we wanted to do. Now, some things happened along the way that were mistakes. A lot of them were 100% part of the record company we were working with at the time that is now out of business. Things happen, like taking the Isaiah off the name, for example. I never wanted it to happen. It wasn't my idea. I was signed under contract, and I got to work with people, and sometimes they make demands you don't like, but you still have to do it, okay? Now, I regret this whole thing of not being able to have the chance to really tell people where we were at at the time, what we were going through. If most people knew, they'd be shocked. But the important thing to know is that uh, it was a learning lesson, and we were speaking on that record at the time what we were going through we had i had a great time doing the record i love the way the record sounds i love the vibe but i think a lot of people criticize criticize us and said you know before you were always so outspoken and now you're not really that outspoken and we hear this phrase against the law and two of the guys have beards and i don't see isaiah there so you know maybe maybe these rumors are true maybe they don't stand for the lord anymore and that's really unfair and that's not the way that it is. I mean, if I didn't love the Lord, I wouldn't be sitting here with you today talking about it in front of, in front of the camera. Right. I mean, I'm sitting here, the Lone Ranger. I'm the, I'm the guy that's left, okay? I'm sticking with the ship. Maybe the ship looks like it's uh, going down, but it's not, okay? And I'm sticking with it because I feel that Striper stands for something, and it's more than just songs. It's more than an against the law. It's more than a to hell with the devil. It is standing for Christ. So I tell everyone out there, against the law was never a thing to be anti-Christ. It was just rock and roll. And now we go into the seventh record. I don't know what it would be, but I think you'll like it. You know, and, and one thing I, I do want to answer is a lot of people, there's, there's a whole negative vibe on you know Michael Sweet leaving Striper. And uh, I don't want anyone to think that uh, it's, you know, you don't have to look at it in a negative way. It's just it's something I felt led to to uh, to leave the group and do something on my own. I, musically, I'm doing a little bit you know different style than those guys want to uh, carry on doing. Uh, I think they want to carry on doing a bit of a heavier type vibe, and I'm doing more of a kind of like a Brian Adams, uh, Bon Jovi type thing. So, but hey, you know those guys are my bros. I love them and I support them. There might be a lot of you wondering what it was like to make a Striper video, and uh, it was an experience, I tell you that. It was, it was hard work. It, was, it wasn't your typical video as far as there's a lot of, especially these days, there's a lot of in and out type videos. You know, you get in there and you, you bang it out and you get out, and there's a lot of budget videos, lower budget videos. With Striper, we, uh, we spent a lot of money on videos. Uh, you know, it was high budget stuff, and we spent a lot of time on them. You know, many times we'd spend two days shooting. You know, I mean, full. There at you know 10 in the morning, and not out of there till like two or three in the morning. You know, days, and it was it was really rough. But I think that was something else. Trapper was always kind of known for was their videos. Uh, we we were a group. When, when Striper did something, we'd like to do it right. You know, whether it was making a record or making a video or putting on a show, uh, doing a concert, doing a tour. And uh, we always like to do it right. Big production, lots of money spent. And we always had the attitude of, you know, uh, 
you got to compete and you got to impress, you know, because uh, in order to go out there and reach people who are into all these other groups that put millions of dollars into their production or their records, you got to go out there and basically try to do the same. You all right, well, a long time ago we did a silly little, um, oh, how can I say it? Uh, we had finished filming a video called Lady, and we were tired, the equipment was still set up, and the director said, look, let's kind of goof around a little bit here, and let's put on the song Two Time Woman, and let's film you guys, and the remainder of the crew here kind of be taking things away, and I said, well, I thought, I don't know if that would be really cool or not, maybe it kind of looked funny or kind of stupid, but we did it anyways. And uh, I've only seen it once. Uh, all I know is I got down with ice water in it, so it's kind of a goof around thing. So here it is, two-time woman. <laughs>